Hey guys, so this video is going to focus on how to clear fractions when solving an equation. So sometimes when we're solving an equation and we have several fractions in the problem, it makes it a little bit more difficult in order to work with the equation. Now, some people love fractions. They love working with them. It doesn't give them any problems when it comes to breaking down the steps to solving an equation. A lot of other people, on the other hand, though, do not like to deal with fractions. Anytime it comes to fractions, it can get very frustrating because, yes, there are a few additional steps that do come with fractions, but they're still very much doable. So if you're one of those people and you don't like necessarily dealing with fractions, there is a way to get rid of the fractions in your problem, and that process is called clearing fractions. So there's one step in order to get rid of the fractions in your equation, and that is to multiply the entire equation by your lowest common denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put brackets around this equation, and I want to multiply this equation by a number that is going to allow these fractions to, get, to be gone, to clear out. Um, so I need to focus on finding the lowest common denominator, which means we need to take a look at the denominators here. So I have three terms in this problem. So term one, term two, term three. And I'm specifically looking at the denominators in each one of those terms. So I have a six, I have a two, and technically a one. Remember, you can turn any number into a fraction by putting it over one. So I need to find the common denominator of one, two, and six. Now, I have three different denominators I'm looking at, so typically um, a good method to use is try and see do the two smaller numbers go into the bigger numbers. So let's check that. One definitely goes into six, two goes into six, and six goes into six. Therefore, six would be our lowest common denominator for all three of these fractions. So what that tells me is I am going to multiply the entire equation by six. So that six is going to get multiplied to all three terms, specifically the fractions in front of the terms, the coefficient of the terms, essentially. So when we multiply this together, do keep in mind that fraction multiplication is numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So looking at this one here, 6 times 1 is a 6, over 1 times 6 is 6. Drop down the x plus 7 with it. Do the next multiplication. One I mean, 6 times 1 is 6, over 1 times 2 is 2. Drop down the 2x minus 8 with it. And that's going to equal to 6 times negative 4, which is a negative 24. So what we're going to see is that whenever we simplify down these fractions, we are going to be left with a whole number. Those fractions are going to be gone. 6 divided by 6 is a 1, which means that cancels out. Technically, we're going to have a 1 times the x plus 7, but 1 times x plus 7 is just x plus 7. Plus, 6 over 2 is a 3, and drop down the 2x minus 8 with it, is equal to the negative 24. From this point, we can distribute combined like terms and start solving our equation here. So because we still have parentheses, we do want to go ahead and distribute that 3. So let's drop down the x plus 7 for now. Distributing that 3, so 3 times 2x is 6x, minus 3 times 8 is 24. Drop down the rest of the problem. Combine like terms on the left-hand side. We have two sets of like terms. We have our variables and we have our numbers. So when we combine those together, 1x plus 6x is 7x. Uh, 7 minus this 24 here, that gives me a negative 17 is equal to this negative 24. Um, since I have the variable on the left-hand side, I want to go ahead and move my numbers to the right-hand side. So I'm going to add 17 to both sides. And that's, let's see, negative 24 plus 17, that is a negative 7. And when I divide out both sides by 7, I get that x is equal to a negative 1. Equation solved. So remember, if you just have too many fractions in the problem and would like to get rid of them, or maybe the question specifically asking you to solve it by this method. So just remember to multiply the entire equation by the lowest common denominator, and it will cancel those fractions out to a whole number. Otherwise, that's it for this video.